there are many different potential market segmentation, uh, you know, target market segmentations that I could choose. I could choose this group or that group or this group, and they could all make sense to me. And so, again, you don't want to guess, you want to use some sort of a, a system to decide who you should be um, who you should be pursuing first and who are most likely are truly your early adopters. And so um, you, you'll do it based on, uh, you know, these variables, the potential uh, market size, their ability to pay you, your ability to actually get to them, to access them and how significant or painful that problem is for them. So I use the map system and I made up this system, but it, I, I, I found it works very well. So um, even though it's made up, don't, don't, don't think it doesn't work. It works very well for, for me. It's always worked. Uh, and it's an effective way to look and see, all right, is this, um, you know, do, is this the right potential market to pursue? So when I was thinking about selling the um, hand sanitizer, the spray hand sanitizer, I was thinking, okay, so number one, we needed to make sure that no matter who they, uh, you know, who we were, uh, who we were targeting, you know, which, uh, potential market we were looking at, that they were all concerned about germs, right? That they cared about germs. Um, and then also that they um, would view hand sanitizer as a, as a viable alternative to hand washing when, um, you know, hand washing was impossible. So with that said, I could think of a lot of different people who could use these hand sanitizers, little spray hand sanitizer. I don't have one with me, but it's a little tiny spray. It's like this size, a little spray bottle hand sanitizer that you carry with you, right? So I was thinking teachers, high school teachers would work, college teachers, college students would work, um, high school students, as long as they're not homeschooled. Right. Moms who have young kids would work. Uh, delivery drivers, I was thinking. Um, police officers, paramedics, first responders, uh, anybody who travels a lot for work, any business professional who's going to need to be out there now that we're, um, you know, we're, we're lessening some of the um, restrictions on, on social distancing. Um, I was thinking anybody who's doing customer service, any of the, um, the necessary occupations, all of these made sense to me. So how do we decide which is which? Well, the way that, the way that I do it is I look at um, maps. I follow the map, right? Follow the map to identify the early adopters. So M is the market size. So is the market size large and growing? If that's very true, very, very true, I would give it a five. If it's very untrue, I would give it a one. And this is not totally highly scientific, but it does give us a place to start, right? So um, teachers, I said, well, it's not a huge market for uh, high school and college teachers, probably not growing. Access, I have pretty good access to teachers since I am a teacher, so I gave them a four there. Um, P is their ability to pay, right? Um, can they easily afford to pay me? Um, yeah, yeah, so I gave them a five. And then S is the significance, right? How significant is the problem to them? So these are all my assessments for each one of these. And, and you go through and you answer that question um, one through five for each one of them, add them all up. And whoever gives you the highest total map, that's the early adopter that you first follow, right? So you'll know that their market size is big, that there is, um, that you have access to them, you understand them, you know how to reach them, which is very important for your first early adopters, um, that they can pay you and that um, the, the problem is significant to them.